In this video, we will be discussing how operating leverage affects profitability. Cost structure refers to the relative proportion of fixed versus variable cost that a company incurs. Cost structure can have a significant effect on profitability. An automated manufacturing plant has a high proportion of fixed cost, whereas a home builder has a higher proportion of variable cost. Consider the following example of Vargo Video and one of its competitors, New Wave Company. Both make cell phones, but Vargo uses a traditional labor-intensive manufacturing process. On the other hand, New Wave has invested in a completely automated system. The factory employees are involved only in setting up, adjusting, and maintaining the machinery. Let's discuss their CVP income statements. Both companies have the same sales and the same net income. However, because of the differences in their cost structure, they differ, they differ greatly in the risk and rewards related to increasing or decreasing sales. Let's evaluate this impact. Let's first look at the contribution margin ratio. Right, Vargo has a contribution margin ratio of 40%, whereas New Wave it's 80%. Because of its lower variable cost, New Wave has a contribution margin ratio of 80% versus only 40% for Vargo Video. That means that with every dollar of sales, New Wave generates 80 cents of margin and thus an 80 cent increase in net income, whereas only 40 cents for Vargo. It also means, though, that for every dollar that sales decline, New Wave loses 80 cents in net income, whereas Vargo will only lose 40 cents. New Wave's cost structure, which relies more heavily on fixed cost, makes it more sensitive to changes in sales revenue. The difference in cost structure also affects the break-even point. The break-even point for Vargo is 500000 and 650000 for New Wave. New Wave needs to generate $150,000 more in sales than Vargo Video before it breaks even. This makes New Wave riskier than Vargo because a company cannot survive for very long unless it breaks even. We can also evaluate the relative impact that changes in sales would have on the two companies by calculating the margin of safety ratio. The difference in the margin of safety ratio also reflects the differences in the risk between the two companies. Vargo Video could sustain a 38% decline in sales before it would be operating at a loss. New Wave could sustain only a 19% decline in sales before it would be in the red. Operating leverage refers to the extent to which a company's net income reacts to a given change in sales. Companies that have higher fixed cost relative to variable cost have a higher operating leverage. When a company's sales revenue is increasing, high operating leverage is a good thing because it means that profits will increase rapidly. But when sales are declining, too much operating leverage can have a devastating consequences. Calculating the degree of operating leverage helps managers determine how sensitive the company's net income is to changes in the sales. The degree of operating leverage provides a measure of a company's earnings volatility and can be used to compare companies. Degree of operating leverage is calculated by, by dividing contribution margin by net income. Operating leverage acts as a multiplier. We can obtain the percentage change in net income by taking the degree of operating leverage and multiplying that by the percentage change in sales. Let's calculate operating leverage for Vargo and New Wave. If we take the net income of 120,000 and divide that into the contribution margin of 320,000, we'll get an operating leverage of 2.67. And if we do a similar exercise for new wave, you can see that the operating leverage is 
If both companies experience a 10% decrease in sales, Vargo's net income will decrease by 26.7%. If you take the operating leverage, 2.67, and multiply that by the 10% decrease in sales, right, the impact that will have on your net income is 26.7%. New Wave will decrease by 53.3%. If sales increase, New Wave will experience a 53.3% increase in net income, while Vargo will only enjoy a 26.7% increase. You should be careful not to conclude from this analysis that a cost structure that re relies on higher fixed cost and consequently has a higher operating leverage is necessarily bad. When used carefully, operating leverage can increase a company's profitability. You can find the solutions for this exercise in the next slide.